In the aftermath of the apocalyptic event known as the Strages, Earth was reformed into a single continent by the angels that came down to save it. This new continent was called Chroma, and the expansion that built Chroma's kingdoms was led by a man named Vincere. Once he achieved the title of ruler of the new world, Vincere grew bored. Expansion and growth of multiple kingdoms, the means in which to support those kingdoms, and putting the proper leaders in place to allow those kingdoms to thrive was fulfilling. But now that his mission was complete, Vincere was unsure what to do with the rest of his days. Due to his careful planning, the kingdoms did not need to rely on him or his advisors to help run the kingdoms, so he grew less and less needed by the people. Of course, they praised him, respected him, and often honored him with festivities and other events, but without purpose akin to what he had just achieved, what was the point? To find answers, Vincere went to seek out the Earth Mother, Simone Fair. Simone was given this title by the same angels that salvaged what was left of the earth to make this new world that they lived in. She was wise beyond her years and lived prior to the Strages, so she knew what the world was like before the apocalypse. While visiting Simone, Vincere got all the answers he needed. Those answers didn't necessarily come from Simone herself, though she tried to help guide him. Instead, the answers would be found in the library of books that Simone kept in the forest where her people lived. Not only did he discover this plethora of books that could now be at his disposal, he also met a man who safeguarded the books for the Earth Mother. This man was named Zandriel. Zandriel was a mage, one of the first humans on this new Earth to learn magic, and extremely powerful. Simone kept him close to guard the secrets of these books, but also to protect the forest. It was difficult for Vincere to convince Simone to let Zandriel leave the forest to help Vincere with a project, but Simone was also grateful to Vincere and his accomplishments, so she agreed to let Zandriel go with him, something that in due time, Simone would regret. While both people she respected, Something changed Zandriel and Vincere shortly after their departure from Simone's forest. No one was sure if one of the books corrupted them, some evil force, a mixture of the two, or just the overall freedom to do whatever they desired on this new earth. But the experiments that the two would perform would change Chroma forever. Their experiments were harmless at first performing basic magic on inanimate objects like furniture and the books themselves. But these experiments provided zero results. Vincere sent Zandriel out with a party to fetch flowers or bugs to try their experiments on, but everything they returned with did not give them the results they were after. Having tried most flowers, bugs, furniture, and books, The two new chemists were ready to give up. Then Zandriel had an idea and suggested to Vincere that they try their experiments on mushrooms. Zandriel had noticed some grew near the castle. They ran the same tests on the mushrooms that they ran on the others, but had no results again. Frustrated and defeated, Vincere referred to a book he saw earlier that spoke about blood magic. Zandriel warned him of the dangers, but was willing to experiment if Vincere was willing to. The ruler of the new earth took a knife and mixed his blood with the concoctions they had already been using, and when he poured it on one of the mushrooms, they got the results they were looking for. These early mushroom tests created small living creatures that would go on to become Chroma's goblins. The goblins were hidden underground as Vincere was unsure how humans and elves would react to their creations. But these goblins would later emerge near the kingdom of Rubrum without anyone knowing of Vincere and Zandriel's involvement. Their next experiments involved dirt, rocks, and trees 
resulting in the creation of orcs that Vincere also slowly let be exposed to the rest of the earth through secret passages in his castle. The people on Chroma began to report sightings of creatures, but Vincere chose to ignore them. This seclusion of cells and blood from one entity to be forced inside another to create a new species would become known as the magic called Sacromancy. Their final test would come in the form of large lizards, often seen around the Rubrum territories. At first, the experiments didn't work as well as the others, and they kept many of these lizards chained up in the dungeons of Vincere's castle. But as time passed, the lizards began to change. So much so that Vincere had to let them loose before their evolution completed, because they were becoming too large to keep in the dungeons. Days after setting the lizards free, Vincere saw a dragon flying high above the area that would become Mundus Draconum, the land of the dragonkin.